Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome again to my podcast, Snacks Thoughts. I say again, welcome to my podcast, Snacks Thoughts. And what is my thought for tonight? Well, I was thinking about um, systems and, and traps. And when I talk about systems and traps, I'm talking about... Um, um, life, but I, sometimes I like to equate it to um, sports or athletics, you know, because some people can better um, understand or get the analogy. Like when I talk about systems and traps um, in basketball, you can have what is known defensively as what is called a full court press. And so, what a full court press is, is where the defensive team. Um, seeks to put defensive um, pressure uh, from the offensive team getting advancing the ball to the other side of the court. So the goal is to make it as difficult or to possibly um, force a turnover against the other team before they get a chance to advance the ball across half court and get a chance to um, score on their own basket. And so when I think about um, traps, for every trap or system, there's always a workaround or a way to beat the trap. You know, if they run a full court press, then obviously the smartest thing to do is to advance the ball is um, passing and movement. You know, um, pass and move and advance the ball up the court. No matter how fast a defender is, they cannot, um, through the law of physics, beat the speed of a pass. So, um, now when I equate that to life, um, I'm talking about um, beating a trap. And so, if I were to call this um, podcast or this episode anything, it would be beat the trap. And so what do I mean when I say beat the trap? Well, I'm talking about um, in light of the inflation that we're facing, um, homelessness crisis, you know, and just um, the the credit crunch, a whole bunch of things are going on um, financially. And so um, education is at an all time high, you know, food, gas prices, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I believe that the the old model um, is really begun to phase out. Are there certain career fields or jobs that have a pension plan? Sure, of course. Or 401k? Sure, sure there are. But I don't believe it's as many as it was um, back in the days, you know, in prior generations. And so I believe that, um, you know, for those coming up in uh, in these times and then people, you know, that are um working these jobs or whatever they're doing. You got the gig economy as well. I think that we have to adjust and adapt to the current um, financial environment that we're in or the economic environment that we're in. And so when I talk about beating a trap, okay, so if we understand that um, many other jobs that used to have, I guess, a a pension plan have um, um, gone away, you know, then it is incumbent upon us to take up um, that responsibility ourselves and to um, invest our own money in uh, said retirement plan. You know, and all of that stuff is out there, you know, and there's different ways to do it. But what I, this is what I believe, and I think obviously um, the younger, the better, but I think because of the economic, the economic um, climate that we're in and the hardships that some people are facing, I believe that with, with this inflation and stuff like that, I believe that people need more than one stream of income. And so, and then I also believe um, by having multiple streams of income, um, some of it needs to be flipped or invested into a business or something that can produce you another stream of income. I believe that is the way to beat this... Um, inflation trap 
you know, I believe that, you know, um, for if the cost of rent prices, if you have one stream of income that say maybe um, takes care, you know, what I'm saying of your bills or at least maybe a portion of them, you know, then you can use other streams of income, you know, to either save or invest. And I believe that we have to um, go that route, you know, now for those of us that um already have a pension and you know whatever are we are retired um an additional source of income you know will only only add it it's not going to hurt it will only add you know but i really believe that in in these times that we're in i think that people should take advantage of the gig economy even in spite of what um biden's um (laughs) new law he's trying to come out with to change the gig economy from independent contract workers to um employees but i think that people should take advantage of it you know um get you a side hustle or two you know um another option i think that um people should look at is um um, get some grants to start a business or to fund certain things so that you don't have to come out of your pocket on certain things you know grants is another way because grants unlike a loan you don't have to pay that back you know and i think that we have to be more creative and solution oriented you know for these times that we're in you know um the government or um, an employer is never going to solve your problems you know you kind of have to own yourself you know and I think that um, we have to have more than one stream of income in these times to offset the cost of inflation. And you're going to have to take control of your own retirement um, and investments. And there's different um, plans out there and there's different ways to do it. You know, um, I believe that um, we should become, you know, maybe take some finance classes and become better educated on um, what to invest in and how to invest in, you know, and each person is different, but we have to formulate a strategy in order to um, survive or to beat, you know, or to overcome the cost of inflation or these economic times that we're going in, you know, and no matter um, what type of economic season that we're in, there will always be people that are going to prosper in any economic um, season, you know, but you have to know how to roll with the punches and what what you need to do and how to capitalize on whatever season that you're in. But I, I believe I think that um, for those that, um, you know, and for a lot of young people, they're looking for jobs or maybe things are not working right. Grab you several side hustles and work those side hustles until you can get on something full time. Or if you got a full time gig, grab you a side hustle. You know, what I'm saying then, you know, maybe start an online business. You know, it's a it's there's always a way one. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. You know, and then once you get these multiple streams of income coming in, take a portion, obviously save some, then take a portion and flip it and invest some to create you some more money. I mean, there's um, several different and this is not investment advice, you know, but I mean, take some of it, maybe throw it in, throw some of it into, into say, maybe some crypto, you know, throw some of it into exchange traded funds. I mean, you know. Um, you could throw some of it maybe in, um, you know, in um, artificial intelligence. There's a, a host of things, you know, that you can invest um, money into, you know, so long as you have the capital and you constantly keep streams of revenue coming in. There's always more than one way to skin a cat, you know. Um, I just think that the the old model and the old way of doing things um, with this um, economic climate that we're in, I think things have changed and um, we have to be prepared to adjust to that. You know, and obviously, um, you know, some people have to cut um, spending more than others. Some some people, you know, hey, um, are set up and they have, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, more money than other people. So even in these economic times, they just um, not affected. But for those um that are trying to navigate um themselves through 
um, this particular economy and um, recession, depression <laughs> that um, that we're going through or getting ready to go through. You know, I believe that um, side hustles and say maybe a side business, something like that, it will help to um, boost up your income and then you take that and you flip that money into an investment and you save a portion you know always keep something coming in and never um discount you know um what you earn you know my dad always told me that it's not how much you make but it's what you save so don't discount and so in in these particular times you know hey um you got to do what you got to do you know and i remember telling a friend um years ago you know when they seemed to they were you know a bit frantic and that's when i first met them they were a bit um desperate and i told them hey i, I showed them some things as a vet on how to get your benefits and how to piece things together you know and i told them get your breadcrumbs whatever's available to you get your breadcrumbs and you take those breadcrumbs and you make a slice of bread then you keep um creating slices of bread slices of bread make a whole loaf so sometimes you got to stitch things together. You know, sometimes maybe one thing um, may not be enough. You may have to be creative, you know, and piece uh, multiple things together to make uh, a whole, you know. But it's whatever it takes, you know, whatever it takes. But if you string, you piece together multiple streams of income, I believe that um, you'll be able to um, outpace um, inflation or at least you'll be able to have maybe say an income or maybe two that can absorb it and you have something extra so you can put something away and keep a little something in your pocket you know I just think it's just it's um, it's just rational or logical you know but explore you know the options like I said explore grants you know what I'm saying we have to think outside the box because um, times have changed and um, obviously, we know that our government is um, deep in debt and the government is n not here to solve your problems. <laughs> you don't want to rely on any particular um, system, you know, to solve your problems. You know, we have to um, take control, you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, of our own lives, you know, what I'm saying and make it happen, you know. And then once you get your multiple streams of income, you know, then um, figure out, you know, say how you can um, advocate these resources and set up your own um, retirement. You know, what I'm saying find out where you can get reasonable um, medical and dental from, you know, there's um, there's different plans that are out there and that are at a reasonable cost. But I, I just believe that in the economy that we're in now and especially with the gig economy, gig economy exploding, um, I think you're going to need um, or it's wise just to keep more than one thing. And so that way you can get a jump, you know, and have something to absorb up, you know, what I'm saying this inflation and the cost of things and while giving yourself a chance to put some money away for the future and to put you a little nest egg away. I, I just don't believe at the rate that things are going for some people that, um, one stream of income some of these jobs are not paying enough so you got to string you got to piece stuff together you know and granted i understand that we only have so much time in a day but um in some cases sometimes um you know we got to go a little bit above and beyond in order to get an above average result that's the best way i can explain it you know but um, it can be done, you know what I'm saying? It's just that we have to um, be creative and think outside the box. There are um, some opportunities out there, but it's just a matter um, if we're willing to capitalize and take advantage of them, you know. And for anything, whether you, even if you have kids or whatever, there's a way to get anything done if you want to get it done bad enough, you know. And we still, you know, have the traditional things, obviously, real estate, blah, 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 and all that other good stuff. You know, but even with real estate, you know, if you have multiple streams of income coming in, then you can either save up enough to um, buy the house cash or you can save up enough to at least put down a healthy um, down payment. You know, anything um, is doable. It's just um, how bad is your want to. So think outside the box, guys. You know, think outside, outside the box doing these um, 
economic times, you know, could get you some multiple um, um, side hustle streams of income or either start a business or two, or if you got a job, start a business, you know, you know, um, piece, sew it together, you know, because the economic times that we're in right now, we in America and I believe even the world, but in America, we are in a full court press. And so we have to figure out a way strategically um, how to go on the offensive and beat the trap. You see what I'm saying? And there's certain things that are universal or certain things that are just basic common sense. Just like a a defensive man can't outspeed a pass, you know, um, inflation can't necessarily beat um, certain levels of income. So think about it, guys. Just think about it, you know. But just something, you know, to encourage all hope um, is not lost. If you're healthy um, and you're breathing, you know, and, you know, you got your health and your strength, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. But beat the trap. Don't let inflation in this system whoop you, you know, beat the trap. You know, take advantage. Use grants, you know what I'm saying? Um, Side hustles, start a business, multiple streams of income is the key. And make sure that um, you flip some of that money into investments and into your savings. That's all I have on this one, guys. But some food for thought and just something to think about. It just crossed my mind, you know, with it. But any um, system or trap can be beaten. All right, guys? Peace out, and I'll catch you on the next one. And the name of this podcast is Snacks Thoughts. That's S-N-A-K-Z-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. And you can find this podcast on ACAS, Spotify, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Radio PBM, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, and a host of other social media platforms. And I also have a YouTube channel, Eric Broaddus YouTube, E R I C. B R O A D U S YouTube or Eric Brothers YouTube.com. So um, check me out over there also. I um, do military content, philosophical content. Um, there's some, um, you know, health, nutrition, and a host of other topics on my YouTube channel. So please share Snacks Thoughts and share Eric Brothers YouTube. Push them out, guys. Share it with your friends, family, frenemies, enemies. Rats, bats, dogs, cats, whatever. Share it. Push it out, guys. But that's all I have on this one. And I will catch you guys on the next one. And military content is coming soon on my YouTube channel. I got to do a follow-up of the fitness standards um, in the armed forces for Generation Z. You know, possible draft could come. Anyway, guys, that's all I have. Peace out. Later.